Irish Manufacturing Research is a public-private partnership between the Irish government and private industry here on the island of Ireland. Within IMR we've got 63 manufacturing companies working with us today, 33 multinationals and 30 small and medium enterprises. Our job is to demystify, de-risk and deliver emerging technologies for these companies. These companies are very interested in looking at emerging technologies such as the technologies that Cooker Robotics are delivering, these collaborative robotics, these autonomous vehicles that move around facilities and manufacturing organisations. We work with these manufacturing organisations in partnership with world leaders such as Cooker Robotics to deliver solutions for these companies. One of the key research thematic areas that Irish Manufacturing Research work on is the whole area of Industry 4.0. And that spans everything from the digitization of manufacturing, putting sensors onto systems and machines, digitizing these machines, pulling the data off the back of these machines so that you can make, get intelligent information from them and make business decisions on them. Another key component of that, of course, is the installation of advanced robotic systems in conjunction with this digitization to make the whole supply chain work much more efficiently. So IMR, part of its focus is to work on all these, these types of technologies. We also work in the area of additive and 3D printing. And in fact, the cells that you're looking at behind here is using robotic systems, such as the Cooker robotic systems, working in conjunction with 3D printers to build the manufacturing line of the future. So for Cooker, uh, we're a manufacturer of, of robots and a provider of automation solutions. We feel that it's extremely important to support national research uh, and manufacturing associations across the globe. But in Ireland in particular, we're looking at um, the Irish Manufacturing uh, Research Centre here in Mullingar. These are the guys who are particularly close to Irish manufacturing companies. Uh, they're the guys who uh, help them to make the transition from manual processes to fully automated processes. And in the doing of that, you know, they allow them to become more competitive on a global market. It improves their quality and it improves their production yield. These are also the guys who push the boundaries of what robotics and automation can actually do and where it can be used. And by doing that, they're opening up new applications and they're opening up new markets for robotics and automation. We're working with different kind of industries and companies from SMEs to multinationals to uh, make them engage with robotics and make them embrace uh, the advantages that robotics can bring to them through the ease of use and uh, adaptability of collaborative robots such as the KUKA, uh, KMR or IWA. And we are doing uh, great work also in disseminating uh, what they can do and how they can uh, remove the barriers that robotics can uh, have it for S SMEs especially. A big part of what we do in IAMR is disseminating uh, robotics and automation, and more particularly for schools and uh, kids that would see manufacturing as a big barrier or something that they can't um, have a career in. When we will ask uh, little girls or boys what they will see as an engineer, they come up with this overall and with a hard hat uh, person and uh, then after those workshops and those outreach programs when we ask them again then it's totally different they can see that it's actually reachable for them to access those exciting uh, career paths and especially for girls who would have uh, less exposure to engineering fields so we're really excited to, uh, to participate in those outreach program and the partnership with COCA helps uh, bringing those, um, those possibility to them. So two of the research projects I'm involved in are human-robot collaboration and mobile manipulation. So for human-robot collaborative projects, the idea is that the robot does the more mundane side of the task and we use humans to perform the dexterous, high-value added part of the task. So in that way, we get the best of both worlds. And this allows us to eliminate all the fixed security systems around the industrial robots and free up factory footprint. So we use the KUKA EWA robot as a collaborative robot and this high sensitivity to force allows it to carry out complex assembly tasks while the human is working alongside it. In contrast, for mobile manipulation, the idea is that we move away from the fixed assembly line structure of a factory to a more modular assembly line where the robot can deliver pieces on time for assembly to various parts of the factory. So one of the obstacles in implementing collaborative robots is the lack of clarity around the safety requirements. So typically what manufacturers have done is been to approach 
collaborative robots as they've approached industrial installations by building separations between the robot and the human. But the added capability of collaborative robots, in particular force and power limitations, means that this separation no longer needs to be strict. So at IMR, one of our goals is to demystify the safety requirements around collaborative robotics by building demonstrative applications, showing that in fact humans and robots can collaborate together safely and in a way that improves productivity. Orange Intelligence.